so. This damage has been ongoing for all the moons. You see, you can see that. It's been repaired a few yeah, times. Yeah, haggard it out. We welded some weld washers on there. I mean, that's just blown the heck out. Look at that. Totally shooted. On this side, what's what the challenge is, we keep having to repair this situation. So we're going to address it. It's not really what we do, but... Not really anything, but... You gotta use your light. Oh, there we go. Look at this, folks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. That's so cool. So then now what we've gotta do right across that. Here's the original, here's the new piece. How Sean's like, here's the bolt, like it's just gonna go together. I'd say it's forward a little bit. Oh yeah. So, um, Salt Lake Off-Road Expo. Oh yeah. February 24th and 25th. We are gonna be there. We're gonna have both trucks set up on display. And of course we will be there. We'll all be there. We'll all be there. Um, we'll, we will have shirts. We will be selling shirts. We'll be hanging out. Um, swing by and if you're in the Salt Lake area or even if you're not, yes, come, come on anyway. up and check us out anyway. Like come say hi. Yeah. Um, like I said, Salt Lake Off-Road Expo, February 24th and 25th, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Said. Come say hi. Alrighty. So, we're in Old Blue, as you can tell from the blue. The guy has a broken trailer. It's off the edge of the road. We just need to pick it up and help get it to a level spot so they can fix it. We'll see what we can do. We're just going to try and get it to an area safer to work on. Mike's on camera. Hey. Oh, yeah. We'll go see what we got to do. Yep. <laughs> it is not ideal. Very not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> you get a hold 
dog right here. Okay. Right here by the frame. And we'll pull in here, pick it up, and see if we can. Well, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Good, huh? No, it's bound right in. But if it'll at least roll enough to get it out of here, or get it right over there. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it cute? <laughs> hey, we're not mad at you. You're a good floor deck. better about that. Yeah, I think we need to set up our Operation Super Sketch. <laughs> What is that pushing on? Nothing. Secret. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. Yeah, man. The trap is nearly set. Almost. 
Oh, you know, find a new pushing. A new sleeve. Sleeve is. Yeah, yeah, the sleeve. Left the chat. You can see the issue we're having here. This is the hole originally. And it would just sit there and work at it, work at it, work at it until it just cut up into it. Smile oh away, boys. boy. <laughs> what? Nothing. I don't see any problem. <laughs> What's the problem? <laughs> Fine. Watch this one. Watch this one. Just tap it in. <laughs> see? Oh, were you worried about my hand being there? Just only a little. <laughs> only for your sake. <laughs> It's not like I need to count to 10. Right. Ah, we gotta get ready for the tow truck Olympics. Winch in, winch out. Winch in, winch out. Yeah. <laughs> you are the champion. Not yet. Oh. March 9, 10, 11, in case you guys were wondering. Buy your tickets now, selling fast. <laughs> All we gotta do is just set her in on the frame there. Perfect. If you really want to support us, buy a shirt or a hat. Do you have hats? Not yet. Not yet. We don't have hats yet, but they're coming soon, so get ready. Now we got to remove Operation Slightly Sketchy so we can go on to Operation Completely Sketchy. Truck. Yoga? Is this yoga? yoga? Tow truck yoga. Look at the balance. See, this this has got to qualify as training. <laughs> like, look at that clutch foot going to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is your moment. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. So I say, let's set it on the ground really quick. Sitting pretty. Way more room back there. Back in this region, a little more room yeah. between A to B. And really, it just looks better. That's much more better. Sweet. Still not quite touching. It's right there, but it's not touching. All right, so got it pulled up on the slant deck here, just checking things out. We redid these plates. We've needed to redo these plates for years. So the original ones were all torn up. The holes were egged out of them. They had a rough life. By moving this forward just a hair, we gave ourselves room on the spring back here where it was hitting, yeah. We've got a little bit more room that we can flex here, but I don't necessarily think we need to. I think we need to move this bump stop, just give it a little bit of space down, 
and let it contact there and have it have a positive stop. The back is looking awesome. Fully extended on this side. I'm thinking about shortening these up and restricting the amount of movement we have in the rear to keep it stable for a certain event that's coming up March 9, 10th, and 11th. <laughs> Keeping that restricted is what helps keep this truck stable. I've had so many instances where a vehicle has swung to the side and pulled on it and it's twisted the vehicle, but it hasn't gotten to the tip over stage because of these straps. That's also the reason why my truck is so wide is because when you're carrying your rig out, your center of gravity is now nine feet in the air. So that's the whole reason for the dualies and the wide axle and keeping it wide is so that when you, it's basically a tripod, you know? But everything's clear and everything's moving great. Rembrandt, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> You would think Sean or I could jump in there and give him a hand, but. <laughs> but I guess, got the most important But Sean's over there busy. I'm holding the ball. Okay. Completely blind. Not too shabby. <laughs> Coming off over here. Welding by Braille. <laughs>